What up, Stretch Shack fam? Welcome to season two. Let's get it. Season two, baby. Hit that like, subscribe, and comment button. So what they didn't tell you about buying a second jet ski, where do you put them? Look at this mess in here. All this clutter. Then you gotta remember, there's usually a car in here. There ain't no room for activities. Nowhere. So what they didn't tell me about the dealership, when of course, you know, spending money getting two jet skis, what do you do with them when you get two double trailers? Because now the single trailer fits in the garage nice and easy, right? Well, unfortunately, I have an older house, eight foot doors. The uh, double trailer does not fit in there. Okay, right? So they're like, all right, put it in the backyard. Uh, try to go to the fence. Nope, that don't fit either. So what do you do? So anyone who has a problem like us, where the jet skis just don't fit where you have the space, first thing I did, brought it to a storage unit. I mean, who wants to pay 180 bucks a month for a storage unit, right? And you don't really want to keep them outside neither. So next best thing we did, my recommendation to you, if you're struggling to find space, pick up a jet ski cart. As you can see down here, these are jet ski carts. I take them off the trailer, put them on the cart, and vice versa, put it back on. A lot of people use it, it's a nice solution. What I did was I checked Facebook, found a guy who makes them, got them for about $200 each, give or take. If you don't have that option around you or if anyone's selling used ones, go on Amazon, look up uh, Aquacart. Those are the best on the market. For people that just don't have space for jet skis, this is your best solution. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to get the jet ski off the trailer and onto the cart, store it away for the winter or whatever you have to do. First things first, you want to raise the trailer, kind of up as high as you can get it. Put it up. We brought the cart, lined it up in the back of the uh, jet ski trailer, chalked the back of the uh, cart. And then you can do this by yourself, or if you have someone help you, I have my friends are over, so you give me a hand. And we're just going to take the jet ski off, put it on the cart, show you how easy it is. like that. Another thing of what they don't tell you when you buy a jet ski, they tell you, but you know, you kind of ignore it. So obviously in the winter, you got to winterize it. You can do it yourself. There's videos and stuff, but I just want the time for it. So I pay for it. Hits you in the wallet. 800 bucks to winterize both of them. It's rough. I don't know. Um, so you do that. And then they unplug the battery and then you put on the carts and you let it sit. Make sure you winterize it. If you live in a cold area, it's cold here up in Connecticut. It gets below freezing. If you don't, water inside the jet ski will freeze and it'll cause damage. So make sure you winterize it if you're in a region that has to be done. 